Oh my gosh, look outside. I am so over winter, you have no idea. I keep telling myself, it's almost spring, it's almost spring. Just think about spring. In the spirit of spring, let's spring clean my closet. I'm gonna get rid of majority of the stuff in there. Today we're just gonna focus on shoes and purses and really just clean it all out. Okay, so here's my closet. My um house is like a fixer upper. So when I moved here, there was nothing in this closet. It had no shelves, no pole, nothing. So I had to DIY it. <laughs> this is my DIY solution. Um, I had an Ikea bookcase I already had that I wasn't really using. So I stuck that in there. Bought a cheap ride from Walmart and these little anchor things. Disclaimer, really quickly, this isn't all of my shoes or my clothes, but this isn't all of my shoes. We're going to focus on the shoes and the purses, which are mostly down there and some up there. Um, we're going to focus on that area, but I live in Illinois, so you know this isn't all of my shoes. <laughs> There's no way I could be in the winter right now with just these shoes. I have another closet with like my sneakers and boots and rain shoes in it um closer to my front door okay, so first thing at the top shelf is this bb purse so i made an account on poshmark and i'm trying it out for the first time i'm gonna list some stuff and see what happens other stuff i'm gonna just donate and then i'm gonna toss a lot of it i don't see myself keeping much of anything to be honest um i do this every like once a year i'll go through my closet and literally get rid of everything that gives me a chance to buy new things and also um just get rid of the stuff that i'm not i'm never gonna wear again it's just a black like big satchel like studded are these studs they're gonna be studs today <laughs> Dooney and Burke purse. You might remember this purse or you've probably seen this purse and if you haven't go ahead and check it out but from a previous video my what's in my bag video and I showed you everything I could fit tons of things in here but it has the whole red interior bum, bum, bum. and it also comes with a little wristlet. A huge Steve Madden bag and I love it um I did crack the mirror though hmm so I don't know if I should sell this or not but I love this bag it's huge but it's awesome um it could it, it could fit my laptop I used to use it for everything just so you know I am for real like on a little bitty kid chair up here trying to show you guys all the stuff on the top shelf because i'm a little short now back to shoes the first shelf let's start up here these shoes i love you can tell which ones i loved and which ones i kind of don't because they're all beat up look at that oh my gosh they're so used awesome these i'll probably give away These are my favorite too. I told you I love them all. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love these silver shoes. God, I love these shoes. Except I can't really stand up in them. <laughs> Loves Kenny. I wonder who Kenny is. That he inspired all these shoes. Oh, there's a little imperfection. A little bit of dirt. Not much though. I did wear them, huh? <laughs> They're in much better condition than that first pair. I love the color block. This was my thing all last summer. All right, these shoes, I love too. Joey, I don't know. Look at that color. I'll probably keep these. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, I see three pairs that I'm gonna keep total. I'll be selling. We're black and white. Look at that. Two shelves done. One more shelf of shoes to go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I'm going to move them up here so they can be seen a little better. Like these little booties.
wedges. Everyone needs a good pair of wedges, right? Like that. Last pair, we are running through this really quickly. You guys should help me clean and organize more often. Okay, so in these baskets are different things. Um, keep in mind, my almost two-year-old is very busy and he has been getting into these things. So they used to be full. Like this used to be full of glasses. Like these are my regular prescription glasses and sunglasses. But now I'm only down to one more pair. And look, they're broke. <laughs> This bin is filled with fragrances. So this one is my favorite. It's my favorite. It's from Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure I have an open bottle of it in here. No. Ah! Oh, here it is. A Thousand Wishes. I love it. So much so that I have the sugar scrub, the body wash, the lotion, and also this glitter spray in the same scent. <laughs> But that's what those are full of. So we're not going to go through that. Then we're going to get to down here. These are just totes. Um, I'm going to give this one away. I actually bought it from Five Below. So I'm going to give that away. This was a gift. Like if you spend a certain amount at a store at Frederick's of Hollywood, then they give you extra gifts. So this was one of them. I think it came with a little, yeah, like a little, a little bag like a little makeup bag in it so i'll probably give that away this is our swim bag from the summer i'm gonna keep this actually that was cheapest from walmart okay so bag so the first bag is actually this little coach bag so this i'm gonna keep for my daughter until she turns 10 here we go knock off <laughs> this is from walmart and it's actually the zipper, this front zipper is broken. This one is another non-label, I don't know what it is, bag. I actually think someone gave this to me. I'm pretty positive. I'm not, this isn't really my style. Girl, it's a dinosaur. This is another one that's actually an older bag, but it's a goodie. They're just really great quality, these bags, and they last a lifetime. So I was going to keep this one for my daughter when she got to be a preteen as well, so I'm not sure. Um, she already has the coach purse, so I think I'm going to sell this one and then just keep this one for her when she's 10, and then she can start shopping for her own bags and put her own collection. This one was a gift given to me, and because of that, I feel like I should pay it for it. And then last but not least is this bag. But that's it. We cleared the shelves. We got through this closet so fast. Thank you for helping me. But, um, I don't, I don't, I don't have any shoes. <laughs> Hmm. That gives me a good reason to go shopping. I'm going to have to go and check out some Poshmark videos because I have no idea what I'm doing. I just made this profile last night. Like, I have no idea how this works. They just follow all the new people. Is there like a new people section? And everyone goes and follows the new people. Am I supposed to follow them all back? Like, I'm clueless. I have no idea. Comment down below if you know what I need to do. <laughs> What is the proper Poshmark etiquette? Poshmark etiquette. If only sarcasm burned calories, I'd be skinny. You'd be praying for me and telling me to eat a hamburger if sarcasm burns calories. <laughs>